Remember Shift plus A and create a mesh circle. Set vertices to 16 and radius to 2.5 mm. First step to go to Edit Mode, G to Move, X to Lock Axis, type minus 14 and enter to confirm. Press Shift plus D to duplicate and set X location to minus 9.5 mm. Press Shift plus D to duplicate and set X location to minus 5 mm. Press Shift plus D to duplicate and set X location to 1 mm. Press Shift plus D to duplicate and set X location to 5.333 mm. Press Shift plus D to duplicate and set X location to 9.666 mm. And press Shift plus D to duplicate and set X location to 14 mm. Select all top vertices and press X to delete. Select these two intersecting vertices and press M to merge at center. Now select all remaining intersecting vertices and press Shift plus R. Shift plus R is the shortcut to repeat less, in this case, the merge at center. Select these six vertices, press X and select dissolve vertices. Enable snap and set snap target to vertex. Select this middle vertex, press G to move, X to lock axis, and place the mouse cursor over this other vertex on the right. This will make the vertices align on X axis. Press G to move, Y to lock axis, and place the mouse cursor over this other vertex on the left. This will make the vertices align on Y axis. Repeat these steps on the other two corner vertices. Select all three corner vertices, disable snap, and press Ctrl plus B to bevel. Change effect to vertices, set width to 0.25 mm and segment to 2. Select these four vertices, press F to create a new face, select this edge, press F to create a new face, subdivide once and fill the last face. Select these four vertices, press F to create a new face, select this edge, press F two times and subdivide once. Repeat the same steps here. Press tab to exit edit mode, add a mirror modifier, change axis to Y, and set merge value to 0.1 mm. Rename the mesh. Press shift plus A and create a mesh circle. Set vertices to 16 and radius to 1.5 mm. Press G to move, X to lock axis, type minus 14, and enter to confirm. Shift select the plug mesh and press Ctrl plus J to join. Press tab to go to edit mode and numpad dot to zoom on selection. Set the increase to 1, press F to fill, I to inset, type 0.75 and enter to confirm. Press X and delete the faces. Select its inner edge loop, press F3, select grid fill and change offset to align the edges. Select the upper half faces and press X to delete. Hover the mouse cursor over the circle and press L to select. Press Shift plus D to duplicate and set X location to minus 9.5 mm. Press Shift plus D to duplicate and set X location to minus 5 mm. Press Shift plus D to duplicate and set X location to 1 mm. Press Shift plus D to duplicate and set X location to 5.333 mm. Press Shift plus D to duplicate and set X location to 9.666 mm. And press Shift plus D to duplicate and set X location to 14 mm. Select these two edge loops, right mouse click, go to Loop Tools and select Bridge. Repeat the same steps on the other six circles. Now press A to select all, Shift plus N to recalculate normals and tap to exit edit mode. Press Shift plus A and create a mesh circle. Set vertices to 16 and radius to 3.5 mm. Press G to move, X to lock axis, type minus 14 and enter to confirm. Press tab to go to edit mode. Select this vertex, press Ctrl plus plus sign three times and X to delete. Select these vertices and press E to extrude, X to lock axis, type 31.5 and enter to confirm. Press F to create a new edge and Ctrl plus R to create a loop cut. Select all vertices on the top and press X to delete. Select this corner vertex, press Ctrl plus B to bevel, change effect to vertices, 
set width to 0.5 mm and segments to 2. Create 14 loop cuts on the bottom edge. Press Ctrl plus R, type 14 and left click to confirm. Press tab to exit edit mode, shift select the plug mesh and press Ctrl plus J to join. Press tab to go back to edit mode and fill the faces around the mesh. Select this edge loop and set me increase to 1. Select this edge loop and set me increase to 1. Select this edge loop and set me increase to 1. Press tab to exit edit mode. If you want, enable wireframe on viewport overlays. Press shift plus A, create a mesh plane and set dimensions to 43 mm on X and 15 mm on Y. Press Ctrl plus A and apply scale. Press tab to go to edit mode, Ctrl plus B to bevel, change effect to vertices, step width to 2 mm and segments to 2. Press A to select all, I to inset, Type 1 and enter to confirm. Press X and delete the faces. Press Ctrl plus R, type 15 and left click to create 15 loop cuts on the top face. Ctrl plus R to create a loop cut on the right face. Ctrl plus R, type 15, left click to create 15 loop cuts on the bottom face. And Ctrl plus R to create a loop cut on the left face. Select this outer edge loop, press Shift plus E. Type 1 and enter to set min increase to 1. Select this inner edge loop, press Shift plus Z, type 1 and enter to set min increase to 1. Press tab to exit edit mode and numpad 1 to go to front view. Press Shift plus A, create a mesh circle, set vertices to 16, radius to 2.5 mm and X rotation to 90 degrees. Press tab to go to edit mode and G to move, X to lock axis, Type minus 8.5 and enter to confirm. Select this vertex, press Ctrl plus plus sign three times, X and delete vertices. Select these two vertices, press E to extrude, X to lock axis, type 8.5 and enter, so they go back to zero. Press Ctrl plus R and create two loop cuts on the bottom edge and two loop cuts on the top edge. Press tab to exit edit mode and add a mirror modifier. Press Shift plus A, create a mesh UV sphere, set vertices to 16, rings to 8, radius to 1 mm, and X rotation to 90 degrees. Press Tab to go to edit mode and G to move, X to lock axis, type minus 8, and enter to confirm. Select this vertex on front view and this one on top view. Press Ctrl plus plus sign three times and X to delete the vertices. This will delete three quarters of the UV sphere. Press numpad 1 to go back to front view, select this edge loop and press E to extrude, X to lock axis, type 8 and enter to confirm. Press Ctrl plus R and create two loop cuts. Tap to exit edit mode and add a mirror modifier. Select this first shape and press G to move, Z to lock axis, type minus 5.5 and enter to confirm. Select the second shape and press G to move, Z to lock axis, Type minus 19.5 and enter to confirm. Press number 3 to go to left view and press G to move, Y to lock axis, type minus 7.5 and enter to confirm. Select the first shape and press G to move, Y to lock axis, type minus 7.5 and enter to confirm. Press number 1 to go back to front view. Select the rectangular mesh, press tab to go to edit mode and select the outer edge loop. Press E to extrude, Z to lock axis, type minus 23 and enter to confirm. Reset mean increase value to 0. Press numpad 7 and 9 to go to bottom view. Press F to fill, I to inset, type 1, enter to confirm and X to delete the face. Select this edge loop, press Ctrl plus B to bevel, step width to 1 mm and segments to 2. Press Ctrl plus plus sign and M to merge by distance. Select this edge loop, press F3, grid fill, set span value to 6, and find the offset values to make the edge straight. Press numpad 1 to go to front view, tap to go to edit mode, Alt plus Z to enable X-ray, select all vertices after the X-axis enter, and press X to delete. Press numpad 7 to go to top view, select all vertices above the Y-axis enter, 
and press X to delete. Press numpad 1 to go to front view and Alt plus Z to exit X-ray. Press Ctrl plus R and create a loop cut. Change Z location to minus 5.5 mm. Press Ctrl plus B to bevel. Step width to 3 mm and segments to 4. Press Ctrl plus R and create another loop cut. Change Z location to minus 19.5 mm. Press Ctrl plus B to bevel. Step width to 1.5 mm and segments to 4. Press 3 to face selection. Select these 12 faces around and press X to delete. Hover the mouse cursor over the remaining faces, press L to select, and X to delete. Repeat the same steps on the bottom faces. Press Tab to exit edit mode, select both circular shapes, the plug mesh, Ctrl plus J to join, and Tab to go back to edit mode. Create the faces around, select this edge loop, and set the increase to 1. Create the faces around, select this edge loop, and set me increase to 1. Press tab to exit edit mode. Add a mirror modify on X axis and apply. Press tab to go to edit mode, F3, grid fill, set spin to 4, and find the right offset. Press E to extrude, Y to lock axis, type 0.5, and enter to confirm. Press numpad 7 to go to top view, tap to exit edit mode, add a mirror modify on Y axis, and apply. Press numpad 9 to flip the bottom view and numpad dot to zoom on object. Press tab to go to edit mode, select this middle vertex, press Ctrl plus plus sign two times, right mouse click, go to loop tools and select circle. We transform pivot point set to medium point, press S to scale, type 0.9 and enter to confirm. Press X and delete the faces. Select the edge loop and set mean increase to 1. Go to front view and press E to extrude, Z to lock axis, type minus 9 and enter to confirm. Go back to bottom view, press F to fill, I to inset, type 1 and enter to confirm. Press I again, type 2.5 and enter to confirm. Set depth to minus 4.5 mm, press X and delete the faces. Go to front view, press Ctrl plus R and create 4 loop cuts. Press 2 to edge selection, select these 4 edge loops and set mean increase to 1. Press 3 to face selection, select these 2 face loops, press Alt plus Z, extrude faces along normals, type minus 1 and enter to confirm. Go to top view, press Alt plus Z to x-ray, select the top half and press X to delete. Press Alt plus Z and tab to exit x-ray in edit mode, shift select the plug mesh, and press Ctrl plus J to join. Apply the mirror modifier, press tab to go to edit mode and create the faces around the plug connectors. Select this face loop, go to front view, press E to extrude, type 0.5 and enter to confirm. Select this edge loop and reset mean increase back to zero. Go back to top view, press 3 to face selection, select these faces, and press E to extrude, type minus 11, and enter to confirm. And for last, exit edit mode, press Ctrl plus 2, right mouse click, and select Shade Auto Smooth. And with that, we finished the fifth part of a Super NES controller modeling course. The next video will be part 6, the controller wire. If you're still here, it means you're liking the content of this course. This took me a lot of time and planning to make it. So please, consider subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it, and leave a comment. It's fast, simple, and most important, it's free. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.